All right, this is a cocktail submitted to our to our podcast uh, by a good friend of ours named Charlie. Um, it's called the Approximo. And if you're interested in submitting a cocktail to the Cocktail Doctors, uh, go to stinkerdrinkerthinker.com and put your submission there. And if you're new here, essentially what we do is we take your cocktail and uh, we try it, we beef it up, and hopefully make it better for you. So um, this is an interesting one. Uh, We've known Charlie a while. I think I think we've ruined Charlie's life when it comes to alcohol intake, and we'll apologize to him in advance here. But um, when we saw his submission come through, we were pretty excited about it. It's got a good amount of our favorite ingredients in there. It's kind of like a sour twist, kind of also that meets like um, uh, like a paper plane as well. If I was looking at it, it is a shaken drink served over a large cube in a, in a rocks glass, and he's calling it the Approximo. Um, you can check the ep- episode recap for a little bit of a background on that, but. Two ounces of Jack Daniels Bottled and Bond, uh, which is Jack Daniels Bonded, a, a new release that came out from them this year. That's awesome. Um, Strega, Aperol, simple syrup, lemon juice, and, and bitters. So, um, yeah, quarter ounce Strega, quarter ounce Aperol, half ounce of simple, three quarter ounce lemon juice. So, we'll build this. We'll give it a shot, and then uh, and then me and Troy the Body of the Glide will put it to put it to the test. We're gonna start with fresh squeezed lemon juice. Always fresh squeeze your juices. Um, Got some homemade simple syrup here. If you've never made homemade simple syrup, that's a problem. But it's simply one cup of sugar and one cup of water, and you, you simply <laughs> make it in a pan and pour it into that. Um, Aperol, which is uh, an aperitif, uh, an Italian aperitif. It's um, if, if you're new to spritzes or brunch, <laughs> uh, you're not an American, obviously, but uh, you're also not an Italian. Um, take some bubbly and pour some this in the bottom of it and have a good day. Um, Strega. Maybe Troy can tell us a little bit more about Strega on the episode. I know he, I know he could pour this on his pancakes, and I think I've seen him do it. Um, Jack Daniels bonded, basically uh, 100 proof Jack Daniels, and it's delicious. Actually, before we get going, because why not? Woo! Oh yeah. If you're going to a party with Troy the Body of a Glotty, do not bring that. You will not bring any home. We'll start our shaker, and despite what Troy says, who is a bar manager, I'm going to do everything in the small tin. And we might as well just take our rocks glass out now. And we'll use a large clear cube. Make it nice at home, guys. It's so worth it. Like using fridge ice. We'll, we'll have to do an episode on that at some point. But All right. I say this every episode. Pro tip, buy bitter dashers. This is Angostura bitters. It's going in there. It's much more accurate. Charlie said two dashes of bitter. So one, two. Perfect every time. We are going to do a half ounce of simple syrup. Which I'm already thinking. And when you guys submit these cocktails, the whole time I'm making them or looking at the recipe... I'm, I'm always, at least me, I'm always kind of thinking of like, all right, well, do, do I think that's going to work? Because half ounce of syrup, uh, simple syrup and then strega, in my mind, it's going to be a little too sweet for my palate, but we will find out, won't we? All right, quarter ounce of uh, Aperol. Quarter ounce of said strega, which is cool because it's already kind of got like a Pour spout on it because of how potent it is. <clears throat> Three quarter ounce lemon juice, fresh squeezed. I like how Charlie is thinking about acid in a cocktail like this. And I like how Charlie is shaking it as well. Which is maybe an episode for another day. And then um two ounces of Mr. Daniels bonded. Guys, if you haven't if you haven't tried this by itself, you're looking for a cheap everyday drinker. This is stuff this stuff's delicious and it's it's very very dangerous. Very delicious. I like the smells, I like the colors. It's got like this nice amber color to it. So far so good. Let's get it shaken. Two 
Two large cubes in. Let's go. Oh, yeah. A little bit for the bartender. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to double strain this because I didn't double strain my fresh squeezed lemon juice, but it doesn't matter if you do it here or there. Mm. Now I say it's a little bit like a sour and a little bit like a paper plain just because it's got paper plain style ingredients in it. And by that, I mean lemon juice and Aperol, but a paper plain is an equal parts cocktail. The Approximo, let's give it a whirl. It smells good, it smells kind of like oaky, which is interesting. Interesting. Surprisingly complex. That's gonna be fun, Charlie. That shall be fun. And we'll have a little buzz in the meantime. If you're interested in seeing what we do to this, uh, make sure you check out uh, an episode coming out later this week where we'll take Charlie's uh, cocktail and we'll doctor it up. If you're interested in submitting your own cocktail to us, go ahead and uh, head over to stinkerdrinkerthinker.com, press the Cocktail Doctors tab. We'll get it via email and uh, we'll go ahead and mess it up for you. So um, thanks for stopping by. Please hit that like button, drop a comment of anything that you might think that you would want to do to this cocktail, knowing what we did to it, or knowing how we poured it. Um, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Uh -huh.